about ready to begin the second quarter. Calvert Hall with a six to nothing lead. And on the move again. On the move. Calvert Hall today. Earl Orban, Mitch Tulai, and Dennis Roberts. Quarterback is Charlie Trimble. He looks to roll out to his right. He is free in the secondary. Pick up a five before he goes down. And it's a first down for Calvert Hall. Well executed play, Carl. It was an option pass all the way. Find fake. Look downfield. The, the, the defensive secondary dropped back, and so he ran the ball. Yeah, the defensive secondary was reacting uh, perhaps a little too cautiously on that particular play, really afraid to commit themselves. Consequently, uh, kind of left this open, giving them the running room to uh, gain the first down. McPherson and Harris, the two backs behind the quarterback. Sanders to the right as a split back. First and ten, straight dive up the middle once again into the secondary. Harris. Close to the first down, they'll spot it, make it second and one. Well, the first quarter stat showing uh, obviously domination by Calvert Hall in terms of first down, in terms of uh, receptions, through other plays. Surprisingly, total number of plays even. Well, right, which is a uh, surprise, uh, and I, that's accounted for by uh, the ladies' first drive, of course. Put backs behind the quarterback. Now they rotate back into two different split backs. Triple turns. Gives it to McPherson. McPherson off the right tackle. Held up and he'll be going down, but it is a first down. A little misdirection to the left. McPherson came from, from his side, moved to the right. Little scissors play, the old Syracuse scissors play. Delaney reacted well on that. Uh, uh, Calvin Hall shipping a bunch of guys down the field and never to confuse the defense, but they hung in there and uh, shut it down. Another first down. First and ten from the 43 of Delaney. We're just into the second period. It's six to nothing, Calvert Hall. McPherson and Carter, deep back. Third straight dive up the middle. This time to McPherson. Quick pickup of six, second and four. He showed out on that gliding run why he's one of the best runners in the MSA, Carl. He's always moving, always gliding, always looking for a space to get into and through. Tony Harris brings the next play into Charlie Trimble. Interesting to note, Charlie did not put the ball up in that first period. That's right. Just grounded out. Nor so far. Of course, on this drive, he would be passing through the wind for the first time today. Sanders moves back. A bit of motion, but they're not going to call it. The inside counter play to McPherson. He's in the secondary. And there's a fumble picked up in oh. the air. <laughs> Gaborik picks up the fumble in the air and picks up four more yards on his own. First and ten. The final reaction by the... Uh, <laughs> John Gaborik. By the big tackle, John Gaborik. It's Christmas early for there's John a play. There's, there's, a, there's a fumble there and a good sure. reaction. Look at those hands. Big John took it and, and gained a few extra yards. Saved uh, the day for the step. Carl, uh, the back <laughs> was in motion, but he was in motion legally because he was going backwards. First and ten for Calvert Hall, all the way down to the 25. Inside the 25, making the 23. Third straight dive up the middle. This time little or no gain. Making a yard, second and nine. Howard Hall continues to grind it out on the, on the ground. That was Timmy Healy with the ball carry. Notice that they, they did not pick up average yardage on that first down. We might see a passing situation somewhere within the, the next two plays. Well, we see Delaney make substitutions on the defensive unit and effort to get a little more beefy on the front line to try and uh, shut down his drive to Calvert Hall's mountain. Rotation in the back. Set Carter and Sanders on the quarterback. Turn. Give to Sanders. He's met immediately, but he gets away from it. Hit immediately by number 55, John Nosmack. But Carter slips out of that and picks up an additional yard. Howard Hall has only passed for two touchdowns in nine games. And, and that, that certainly, that stat is, is being supported today by, by what they're doing on the ground. Well, why pass when you have exactly. such a devastating running right. attack, right? And it's in it. Undoubtedly safer, no question about it. Third and five. Wilson splits out wide to the right. And we are going to have a call here. It's a legal procedure, and you watch this. Oh, nice try. It looked as though the left guard moved. Uh, we'll hear it from Scotty Fredericks. Charlie Trimble is handling his quarterback chores awfully well today. Nice faking. The pass is just off target. 
Decline. We will motion on the red. Decline. Fourth down. Fourth and five. They're running the clock down right now. 8.06. And he gave them the hold. So we have 8.06 left to go in the half. It's still six to nothing. So what's your call, Carl? Fourth and five. I give him the option to, to uh, roll out, run, or pass. Okay, very good. Let's try it. See, I was a quarterback. Remember that coach? <laughs> Look for McPherson in motion. No, he does not. He just roll out. Oh, Look the out. outside. He's not there. Across the middle, and he throws it away. Good call. <laughs> so the attempt for fourth and five falls short. And Delaney will take over on Delaney down. Delaney is held, and Delaney, well, they, Delaney they shut has down got that the field. Effort. They've got the field good about that. That's exactly what they wanted to do. They didn't want the Scouts all team to come back down here and score again, and finding themselves down 12 to nothing, which they couldn't have been. And that, that's what happens many times if you don't if you don't gain some kind of percentage yardage on the first down. And you're forcing the situation. Two backs set behind the quarterback. Turn, straight dive, the counterplay back in the middle. We have a flag right down. down. And down in the holding area. Finally oh. brought down is Neil Alt on the counter play. And let's see here what the foul is. It would generally be holding, and Bob Blatchy is the one who threw the flag, and he had an awfully good view looking into the offensive line. Conferring with Scott Frederick now. He'll march it off against the lady. A big one. Half the distance, back to the 10 yard line. Number 50 White holding. 50 White holding. Scotty Fredericks, my old manager. He was the manager of the BAC when well, I first came Scotty, into football. He, he's, he's, he's very active. He's also the president of the Baltimore Civil War Roundtable. He's a very active uh, participant in Civil War events. Second, first and 10. I think it's Stop. first and 20. Stop. It was first and 20, and a short game. And that will be first and 20 plus. Well, the Lanes find themselves now deep in their own territory. They're going to have to mount some type of offensive drive here and get out of the hole. Well, I would say a quick kick somewhere in here might be helpful, but uh, I think they would probably rather keep the ball and try to get what they can. When is going to be a fact, and as a matter of fact, it's can't see a flag from here, but it looks as though it's probably going from behind us to the far side of the field. It's going across field, so there's an option. An option play to the outside. And Jamie picks up the ball and gets up to about the 15. They're calling him out of bounds, but far short of what they need. It's going to be third and 13. Here's that play again. Here's the play. Better gives the ball to Jamie. Jamie pushed out of bounds on the far side. Looks like Troy Young doing it. Better handles himself very well at that quarterback slot also, Carl. Look for the pass here. 6.56 left to go in the second period. Third and 13. Actual Mason behind the quarterback. Looks to roll out to his left. He does. He gets to the outside. It's a pitch off now. And it's a foot race. The Jamie and the little speeds are coming up the sideline to the 50. Inside the 50. Down to the 40. And finally caught from behind by Troy Young and Chris Violante. Well, that was a play. fantastic effort. That was, that was, that was a terrific read by, by quarterback Rich Teddy. That... Notice what? how he holds on right to the last like, moment. Absolutely. And then makes that pitch to but the That's game. really what made that play. Here's the play again. Watch him hold that ball, and he tucks right it there. away. Four of them all three around him. Three and the fourth one comes in. And this is a nice run by, by this little tailback. First half in. Right on the spot. Good job. Same play one. to the other side. This time, Tedder holds on to it. Picks up two, second and eight. Carl, I, I just want to say about this, this quarterback for Delaney, how he had tucked that ball away, and it looked truly as if he was going to run, and that was the whole team. Attracted three and then a fourth man. Really a fine job. It was his effort, really, that got the talent Hall defense to commit themselves, and that's one reason why that play went so well. Yeah, we have a time Fine out. option play. 6-12 left to go in the second period. It's still only 6 to nothing, and I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the weather today. Regardless of that, it is 6 to nothing. Delaney on a, a mini drive, having come from their dome 10-yard line, now inside the 40-yard line of Calvert Hall. We're on at second eight. We're on a good drive. And I think a timeout this time is a good move on the part of the coach. Get an opportunity to get out there to talk to the kids. Still keep uh, cool heads and keep this drive going. A 
Agency, there's Laney Huddle, Ted Murray, conferring. Ted was the head coach last year, now he's uh, the offensive coordinator as an assistant under head coach Joe Kaufman. You know, while we have this opportunity, also playing today is Loyola, who we covered last week, and they'll be playing Archbishop Curley. And if they should win that ball game, and of course Curley goes into that game, oh, for everything, then it would be a championship here for Calvert Hall. I mean, sorry, for Loyola. Yes, they have, yes. for Loyola. And that would, they would remain undefeated. Put back behind the quarterback there. Second and eight. Straight dive up the middle to Amaker. Amaker, good yardage. Inside the 30, first and 10. Well executed play. Guard pulling trapped. Another first down. All the way down to the 26. Straight up the middle, right at Calvin Hall. Very, very effective play. I think he just caught him not thinking that time. Both teams have run that straight play effectively. Yep. Over the, right off the center, off either side of the center. Thanks behind the quarterback, the flip. Give the outside to Amaker. Amaker trying to get outside. Can't do it. Hit by Violani as he approached the line of scrimmage. Second and eight. Well, Delaney is once again demonstrating that they can move this football. Here's the play again. Puts his head down. Picks up another two. Good tackle, good tackle there by, by Violani. Yes, Violani came up nicely. And he is, he is a tough scrapper. He doesn't take it back from step. He's a good linebacker. They gave him four yards in second and six. Great dive up the middle once again to Amaker. That's that quick hitting play. Quarterback tries to freeze the secondary and the linebacker is secondary by a quick handoff and then moving back to make it appear as if it either hand off to the second back or pass. 4.58 left to go second period. Still 6-0 Calvert Hall. Delaney once again threatening. And this is a much closer ball game at this point than I think most of the pundits would have uh, would have predicted. Third and short yardage. Make it two. Send the Damien into the line. It's very close. But I think not. You gotta imagine. Well, as you were, I think so. I'll agree with Scott Frederick who says it's first down. First down to Lady. Have to give this team a lot of credit. They started awfully deep in their own territory. They found themselves with a second and 20 situation not too many plays ago. And here they are down on uh, just about Capitol Hall's 15 yard line. First and 10 from the 15. Nader takes hand off in the middle. Trying to get to the outside. He Good is move. outside. Heading for the corner. He's going in. He'll score. Rick yes, Bitter from move. 15 yards out. Ties the score at 6 to 6. And he doesn't look that fast. Here's the replay of that, of that fine run. The quarterback keeper, hit it number seven to the outside, keeps the ball, tucks it away, breaks away from two tackles, and on in. He's got a nice long stride, which I think is deceptive in terms of the uh, people making pursuit. Good point. Surprisingly, if they can get this extra point, they're going to go ahead here at this point of the game. And this, this will be a surprise. Tom Aiken. Block. Oh, block. A block Number by Tom Akins. The extra point. Of course, he took a shot there. Look at him. It's Al Farrow. Blocked Al extra Farrow, point. Number 12, right. And it's 6 to 6. What a Over fine right effort. Back. What a fine effort. Town and Country Winnebago always offers the area's largest selection of recreational vehicles, like the newest diesel Winnebago Centauri Lachero, Cruise Air, Southwind, Excalibur, and Honey. Over $1 million in inventory. Prices start. Better. It's now 6-6. Six to six. Laney Mallet, a terrific effort, as I said, starting very, very deep in their own territory. They found themselves in a little bit of penalties, and uh, at one time was uh, first with 20. Came up a very, very nicely run. That's right, they really got a home. And score. Scott Connerly kicks it off deep downfield. Picked up by McPherson. McPherson behind a wall of blockers. Trying to get to the outside. He's now hitting back inside. He's brought down at the 34. He was in a portion of the field where the footing was a little bit delicate. Very poor traction. And wisely was taking little short steps to control himself. Four minutes. I think, gentlemen, we all have to be surprised. There is a four-minute warning 
being given to both teams, but I think we both have to be surprised uh, that this game is so close. Absolutely. Couldn't be closer. 6-6 six, six at this point, and, and yet it, it seems that, that Calvert Hall has been more dominant, but they've only scored the one touchdown. Well, we've seen two sustained drives mounted on the part of Delaney. The first time they were, of course, turned away. Uh, Delaney then got to the touch the ball right? and went in and scored for himself. The second time, they, they marched, uh, well, just about 80 yards. Started left the field, went in and scored. Well, it was 80 yards when they started, and then they got that penalty to put it back 10. Exactly. So it was a 90-yard drive, which uh, was a response to the Calvert Hall drive, which was an 80-yard drive. So we have two very good offensive displays going on. Lots of character on that drive, for Lots of character. First and 10. McPherson in motion away, and the straight handoff up the middle to Harris. Harris to the outside. He's got his 10. First down. Up over the 45 to the 46. First and 10. Harris, another one of these fine travel hall backs. Then we see that last scoring drive on a part of the lane. 11 plays, 82 yards. Mr. Fader taking it in on a 15-yard run. Just what I said, 82 yards. <laughs> he, had, he had taken it on the run, but remember, he also had the long gainer which set it up. That's right. Calvert Hall trying to get on the scoreboard with 3.15 left to go in this half. First and 10 from their 46. Motion to the near side by Mike Sanders. Turn to straight dive up the middle. Three yards, second and seven. Delaney puts up a rugged defense. Here again, first down, very little yardage. He's going to force Calvert Hall the next down or two to go to the pass. Here's Augie, Augie Maselli. Augie is talking with one of his coaches, getting information from up top. Those guys upstairs must be very happy with today's weather. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, thank you. I think they're strapped down on top. The kids in the field enjoy it, though. Motion to the far side by McPherson to turn the straight dive up the middle. Jay Carter free in the secondary. A good block on the outside. And he's finally brought down as he crosses the 40 of Delaney down to the 36, first and 10. Jay Bruce, Carter. Bruce Auslander came, came uh, from his other side, made the, made the tackle on the good play. Here it is again. Look at Jay direct his blocker. <laughs> nice job, Jay. That That's shows right. why he's averaging almost seven yards per carry. The Calvert Hall team has a whole host of backs that have accumulated a lot of offensive yards. 2.15 left to go in the half. The fake handoff on the end of the round. The look downfield, and Charlie Triple's going to tuck it away and run. He gets away from the end. Oh, the far side, he's open. And across the 25, down to the 21, first and 10. Nice play by Charlie Triple. It certainly was. Are these quarterbacks on both teams ever displaying excellence? Charlie Triple looked downfield, did not think his end was open. He was open momentarily. And then the defensive back recovered. Here it is now. He loses one. Down, he got two. Away. A good block in there. Nice run. The big play was getting away from Big John Nosmack. First and ten. Fighting against time now. 148 left to go. Healy McPherson rotate behind the quarterback to turn to give up the middle to Healy. Healy all the way down to the 12 yard line. Second and two. And a timeout. And we'll see a whole host of substitutions on this Delaney team. Four players coming in from the sideline. Setting their goal line defense. They normally play a five. They'll probably move it to some kind of eight. We'll be right back. Left to go in the second period. It's six to six. And Howard Hall on the move. Second down and short. Knocking on the door. Yes, Coach. indeed. From the 12. Two back step behind the quarterback. Carter. Turn to give to Carter. Carter up the middle. We have a flag down. Right, Carter down. all the way down to the five yard line. And let's see what the penalty is. Bill Ryan, the judge, detected something. Actually, we have two flags. Both Bill Ryan and Jim Black. Apparently saw the same thing. Against Calvert Hall, as Scotty Frederick will march it off. Five yards. Let's hear what it is. Little motion. Red. All right, Scotty. 
is Jay Carter. Good stats on Jay. Seven yards a carry. Another one of those fine travel ball backs. Very explosive back. Second and eight. And the clock has begun moving. One sixteen left to go in the half. Motion by McPherson. Roll out pass. Looking outside. A quick outside pass and bobbled and dropped by McPherson. Well, he, he, had, he started to run. Yeah, he's running before he caught it. Incomplete pass, but that will stop the clock. With 105 left to go in the second period, it's now third and eight. Here's the Delaney band. Mitch, you could suit up everybody in St. Paul's and it wouldn't be as many people as in that band. <laughs> that, that's a substantial number, I'll tell you. Well, Delaney finds himself in a uh, unique situation now. Uh, Calvin Hall, have you been unsuccessful in moving the ball so far? What? <laughs> <laughs> Three third down, Carl. <laughs> And here we go. Looks to pass. Over the middle. Here's John Wilson. Oh, Touchdown. Yeah. Well, he was open earlier momentarily, and now he was open for a long time and wide. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. A little nice job getting John free. John Wilson stayed with the ball. How does you? Here it is. A nice fake, a nice drawback, and the pass was right there on the money. There John Wilson goes. takes the 18-yard pass for a touchdown, and Calvert Hall goes back up on top. An excellent drive. An excellent drive by Calvert Hall's offense. And we have a timeout here. I believe that Calvert Hall would like to go for the two points. And uh, Charlie Tribble didn't feel comfortable with the play that was sent in, so he's going to talk to his coach. 59 seconds remaining in the quarter. Scott Frederick has just signaled that Calvert Hall has consumed all their timeouts. John Wilson, there he is. Six receptions, 124 yards, and now add another TD to that one. Notice that average of 20, and that's uh, almost what he has there. Yes, very close to it. I think it was 18. And let's see what they're doing. Charlie Trimble moving his team over to the left. We used to have a trick play like that, Coach. Don't you remember that? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you could never work, make it work. But <laughs> yeah, it. Never mind that. <laughs> There's Jay. Thank you, Jay. And they're going to go for the two points. Two backs set behind the quarterback. Sanders and Healy. Turn. Fake. Look in the end zone. There's McPherson. And he's got it. Two-point conversion to McPherson now makes it 14 to 6, Calvert Hall. Well, the left zone, and McPherson was keeping open. And a good Bill Ryan moved close to the play, and he, here it is. We'll see it again. Just a Bill Ryan right, right on the play, realized that he had to. Uh, I caught the ball within the end zone, and it was a good two-pointer. Well, Delaney's going to get enough opportunity to get their hands on the ball before we go into halftime. We've got just under a minute remaining. And it should be interesting to see if they can mount some type of effective offensive drive before halftime. They have, I believe, one timeout left. I don't think they're going to do anything, anything uh, that would be terribly gambling because they're still certainly in the ball game. Haskell will do the kicking off. Mike Haskell. And... Deep to receive with those three gentlemen there going back in the middle. The Jamian, and on the far side, Collins. The near side is Amaker. Carol Hall with their with their unbalanced, ready to kick it away, which I'm sure they're going to do. And here comes Mike Haskell. Good kick to the far side. Collins takes it over his shoulder inside the 15 to 13. Now he's in the move up to the middle. He's got some space throughout the middle. Finally brought down as he crosses the 30-yard line. First and 10. That was a surprisingly good run back on his yeah. part because it looks like with a lot more Calvert players in the area. Time for only a couple plays. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see Delaney uh, not, not try anything in desperation. Maybe one pass. Four, with the score of 14-6, they, they uh, come out in the second half, they still have plenty of time. So here's a, a draw play. Delaney ball play. to Amaker. Amaker picks up a quick nine. Well, He's in a better position now. They use that timeout right here. Delaney's still looking to get on the scoreboard. It's second and one as they get up to the 45. 27 seconds. Doug Amaker. 6'1, 190. Good size. Yeah. Another one of the ball yeah. players going both ways today. He's been a, been a lot of action today. Murray has a quarterback 
one side, Hey, Freddie, get Going over the uh, crucial play one's called now. This would not be a surprise to see them go big now, Carl. They're, they're in, in the bomb. Yeah, yeah, something like that. They're in good field position. I, they're not concerned right now about the first down. On your case, Freddie, get the ball! 27 seconds left to go in the half. It's Tower Hall's defense is playing fairly close. Not they're, not, they're not deep. Two backs behind the quarterback, straight drop back pass, looks to the outside, tries to dump it outside, but the ball is wide as Doug Amaker falls down trying to receive that ball. It's a short screen, actually. And if he had caught it, standing right next to him was Bush Wilson. That's anyway. right. Here's that scoring drive, nine plays, 65 yards. And a touchdown pass, a nice touchdown pass from Charlie Tribble had good delivery on the ball. 22 seconds left to go in the half. Third and one. Big drop back pass. And now he's going to roll out of the pocket. Looking left, there's a man up and down there, caught, and out of bounds. Out of bounds. Nice reception downfield by Neil Hall. It is a good catch, did the official say, Carl? No, that's what I thought. He was signaling out of bounds. He was right on the play. It's Jim Black in that area. He was right on the play and gave the signal virtually immediately. And here on the replay, you'll see this. A good, a good move by quarterback. Very difficult type of Quarterback's pass. right on the play. Nice, nice position. Perhaps they're doing a fine job today. They, for the most part, have been right there with the they, they have been on the play. They know they're on TV, guys. <laughs> well, I, I know those guys. They I think after, after, after the first second, they forget, Carl. They get, they get into the movement, and they're in the ball game. That summarizes the weather today, folks. It's good football weather, according to Matt Swerloff. Of course, he's in the truck. <laughs> Producer's Haven, eh? Sorry, man. There's the flag. Very strong breeze. It's got to be gusting up towards the 40 miles an hour. And we can see it's going from behind us across to the far side. 15 seconds now left to go in the half. Ha! <laughs> the birds flying south. Can't say it's a fly <laughs> And down. probably the last play of this quarter. Roll out to the left. Bader looking to pitch out. Does to the Javian, and he's out of bounds. It will not be the last play, as we still be. have, according to the clock, 10 seconds left. But it is a first down. First and 10 up at the 48. They're still in their own territory. 10 seconds to go. I don't think they're going to be able to grind it out here. No, but they got uh, the opportunity for the one long pass. Incidentally, they, uh, uh, Delaney rather certainly has been successful with that option play. Certainly have. And let's see what Fader does on this first and ten. Great drop back pass. Looking downfield, the long pass overthrown, picked off by Mike Sanders. He'll be very happy just to fall down, I would imagine, if he ever does fall down. He, he wants he's to go all the back. He's going to try for it. Up over the middle, dancing back over the middle. He's still on his feet. There's a flag down. He's still on his feet. But the flag is down. It's a foot race. And finally, Thater, Rick Thater, brings him down. Now, this is a penalty on the defensive team. It's academic. Let's That's see what they're going to call. This could be halftime. Or, can, now, who does it have to be on the play? Well, uh, uh, Phil Ryan's on the flag. It, it was probably a clip. So, therefore, it will be the halftime should end. Here is that interception coming up by Mike Sanders. Bader back to pass, overthrowing his receiver, going downfield, Neil Holt. Great position. And now Mike the Magician here gets out of a couple of plays. Watch this. Good run back. The kid back. made up his mind he wanted to bring this ball back, and that's exactly what he did. And you can see down the field, Thater. Great effort. Cruising in. Good job. Great effort. Now let's see what they're going to call. We aren't sure yet what they're going to call. But as we see, both teams. That's a half. Okay. That's it. So when that ends the half, the score at half is 14 to 6 favorite Calvert Hall, and we'll be back with halftime activities in a moment.